they're not there, what's the theme of the event? Bonjourno! You lucky people! You lucky people because it's your dull gray lives comes the magnificence, the thrill, the mystery of Comedia dell'arte! So, extraordinary for you. We have people who have never worked before together. Some of them have done Commedia before, some of them have not. This is 16th century Italian improvised theater. Because it is improvised, we started this morning with nothing. We wrote a play. We rehearsed it. We are now going to perform it for you. Therefore, it comes from nothing. That is the mystery part. <laughs> so, what is happening is everybody's learning. There are two people who have never, ever, ever been on stage before. There are some who work together who knew each other before. Some from the south of the kingdom, some from out of the kingdom. We have all come together today to form a group we are calling Iron Comedia! So what you will see today is a story of love and of war. And of yeah, drama and of pie. Gonna have. There is lots of pie. Pie is very important. And so we have a story brought to you that will bring you joy in your heart, that will make you want to applaud a lot. And I promise you, we will have you done and ready to work on time. So our story today involves a, a set of lovers who want to be together but find trouble. There is someone trying to get out of going to war. There are people that are lying to each other. There are people who are striving to do the right thing. And when you see somebody doing something nasty, I want you to all hiss. Whatever you like. Whatever you want to hear. When you see them doing something noble, I want you to cheer. Oh, come on. Um, I would. One more time. I want you to cheer. Thank you very much. Let it help. Because uh, we want to write down their names, successes, uh, kind of what they did is nice to know. And then who won, who lost. I am dark and mysterious now, um, gypsy. As far as have been town of Ravenna for one week. Everybody and in that whole week, I make no money. A judge in the I tell some fortunes, but I wait. I wait for a prophecy. But when I wait, I tell a fortune. I tell a fortune. The spirits, they speak to me. They say they have fortune for His Excellency of Stirba. <laughs> oh, let me see that. Let me tell you fortune. Oh, okay. It's a very interesting day. It's a short line. Okay, that was too long. Okay, all right. Do you have another impartial judge? I see a ton of bulls. Maybe later I have been like, Okay. <laughs> in the meantime though, in the meantime I must I must make money. I must make money. So I will stand here and I will wait. And I will see what comes by. Oh, I have so much trouble with this problem of mine. I've been working out for the king. Oh Arlandino, hello. How are you? I am fine. I, 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 Dottori, have been working on a problem for the king. I've been trying to solve for him the way in order to win the war, the way to bring victory in the future, the way our future will be sustained and made real. I had, I had looked through all of the epitome of Vegetius, and I read all of the annals of, of Odysseus, and, and I had the most terrible dream, and it caused me problems of thought. So I came and I, I did chronology and I felt people's heads and I tried to figure it out. And I did physiognomy and I looked in their faces. Oh, and I tried to figure it out. And then I looked into their minds. And how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Damn, you're right. How did you know that? Ah, but, but in the end, in the end, it really came down to a question of numerology. Because I have learned in the University of Bologna, and I studied there for a long time, so I am full of Bologna. I have learned in the University of Bologna that if you do numerology, and you do all the equations correctly, and the sums are right, that in the end, the answer 
appears to be pie. Pie? I love pie. Yes, pie, but I don't know what it means. It makes no sense to be pie. I, numbers go through my head. Three, one, four, I don't know. They keep going and going. Uh, I like to give a little I can work with these. I work with these. I like to give a little dagger. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. 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 Okay. Well, I heard from the Ilka story that there was, that would he was work. working on a problem for the war, for the king, and it came to him that the answer was pie. <gasps> it's a prophecy! A prophecy? A prophecy. A prophecy. The but the word you heard is not pie. That's no, no, that's bad. Pie is pie. That's a lousy prophecy. I'm much better prophecy. The word you want, not pie, but Die. Die? 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 Ooh. Someone die. Whoever goes to this war, whoever leaves this city, die. It's a good prophecy, yeah? Yeah, yeah you pay me that. I don't favor performances. Good prophecy. Good money, right there. Okay. The prophecy. Yes. Don't forget. Die. Oh, what a splendid day this is! His Majesty has seen fit to make me captain of his armies! Finally, a man of my talents, a man of my military prowess, a man of, and let's not deny it, raw sexual magnetism has finally been recognized for who he is. I am only... I am only saddened that we are not in a time of war. War? So, what? Can yes. I hear war? Yes. What? Arlequino, what are you doing there? I was thinking of planning the war. The war? The war! I was thinking of pie. Pie. But then I heard war. Yes. And I heard a prophecy. Prophecy? But no doubt about me. Maybe. The prophecy was anyone that goes to war will die. Die. Maybe not a bad Well, that's, um... You know, Arlecchino? Yes? I've been a very selfish man. <laughs> I have been in so many wars for so many years, and I have taken so much glory for myself. I finally see what a selfish and foolish man I've been all these years. It's time that some younger man take my place. As the king, as the captain of the king's army, what should I do? No, because I have to leave this If only there was a way I could disguise myself so that I, so that someone else could step in my place. I know how to disguise you. And what were the ideas? I, I saw a dress in the window over there. A woman. Why would I want to do that? You would be disguised, and you would not have to go to war. Well, ordinarily. But then again. Who but Captain Spavento knows women as well as any other man? I, I mean, there's war on the one hand, and there's... Why don't you show me your disguise? <laughs> Isabella! Arrazio! Isabella! Arrazio! Isabella! Arrazio! Isabella! Arrazio! Isabella! Arrazio! Oh, how in love I am with you! And how in love I am with you! Oh, these days being with you have just made me feel so alive. Things like time has never ended except when I'm with you. Oh, every moment I'm not with you breaks my heart. And I as well. My heart, it flutters like a butterfly in the fresh, cool spring air. I want to feel you close to me, like the dirt beneath my feet. Isabella! Father! There you are. It is I, Pantalone, your father, and what are you doing with this man? Father, this is the love of my life. 
Is it, aren't you uh, Dottore's son? Y yes, sir, I am. Yes. Dottore owes me a lot of money, and he is unable to pay. That means that you are poor. Well, well, well I mean, my, my family might be poor, but, but we are rich in heart and love. And that won't feed me, so... Uh, yeah, you are poor and, and no, ill-suited for my daughter. No, 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 this will not oh, work. No. You cannot marry my daughter. Oh, out, but, out, but, go, but go, I love go, her. go, 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 go. fall in with your long-term plans. It might. You have the intrigue. We could get Orazio to go to war for you and you <coughs> marry Isabella, his daughter, because you are rich. But I'm thinking he might not approve of you in a dress. What are you waiting for? Must be out of the dress? Yes! around here somewhere and to convince him that he must join the army in order. There he is. Horatio, just the man we were talking about. He is oh, you, you heard of my plight? Yes, yes, sir, I have true he love for Isabella. And, and her father has said that he forbids me marry The her. army is just the ticket for you. Yes, Horatio, no, let, let Captain Spavento help you, Horatio. Well, how could, how could you help me win the heart of my Isabella? I am thinking every time. So I am looking for a young, strong, handsome man to take over command of my armies. Okay. And you are just the patsy, just the man <laughs> that could fill that role. Oh, wow, Captain Sorrento. I, 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 I am flattered that you think I'd be capable of taking Absolutely. on a role of such a magnitude. You'll go off the war, you'll come back a hero, you'll come back wealthy, and then Pantalone would have to accept me and I could marry his daughter. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, wow, that's Excellent a wonderful plan. idea. I will go and live right go now. Oh, go. Now, that was part one. Now, we go off to Pantalone. Did you set wait. up with a... Yes, yes see, we get Because there is a beautiful person there just for me. Yes. Women for both of us. Women for both. It doesn't get any better. Pantalone. Look, here he is. Oh, and, and, and gentlemen, what can I do for you? It is I, Pantalone, the richest merchant in all Ravenna. It is what we can do for you, Pantalone. Oh, yes. We, we know you have a daughter problem. A daughter, it's yes. It's time for her to marry. Yes, it is. And, uh, and, and alas... Ratio, who would want to uh, marry Poor, him? poor man. Exactly. He's going on to join the army and he everything. He oh, is. well, he's out of what the picture. What you need is a retiring captain who's rich. Rich? Yes. yes. Rich? Yes, rich. 
And this is available. Ah, oh, yes, I think that that, that yes, you look rich. Uh, um, let us adjourn and, and discuss the dowry. Come, come, come. This this is, come is, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong, my dear? Oh, Lavina. Any word? Any news? News? But bad news. Bad news? It should be good news. Things always come true at the end for true love. Horatio is going to war. And you have to marry a Capitan. <gasps> Horatio is going to war? Everyone knows the next war is Gulf Wars, and that is so far away. <laughs> Dear. Oh, I came up with a plan. I'll never see him again. <laughs> we'll solve this together. Oh, this is getting worse and worse. Oh, this is a what a tumultuous day. Well, I have enlisted now, and, and my fortune shall be with the army. Why, Good Arlequino, I have just been and met with the army, and I am enlisted. I shall be leading them in war. The army? You do not want to join the army. Well, well, why not? Because I heard a prophecy. What, what was the prophecy? The prophecy was, whoever goes to war is going to die. Are, are you sure? That's what I heard. To, to, to die? To die. That's awful. If, if I wish to die, then my true love would be brokenhearted and, and alone for many years and, and die alone in pain. And I could never put her through that. No, no, no. I must find another way. But, but I've already enlisted. What, what will I do? You need a disguise. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, because then, then they won't know to come get me and they'll march off and, and I'll be in town. Okay. Well, I know I have disguise. Okay, what? what? A dress. <laughs> they can turn you into a woman. Well, I, I guess they would never conscript a woman. Uh, okay, uh, well, where, 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 where is one? I, I know where one is. Oh. Follow me. This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, how are you doing? I am well and glad to meet you. I am very happy to see you. Yes. You've been in town a long time, yes? Yeah, I've been in town about a week. About one week. Yeah. One week. One week is good. I I look for someone. I look for a man. A very special man. Wait, wait. I feel something come over me. The spirits, they tell me you are looking for someone. A man. A man, they said. <laughs> I heard it. Is a man. Okay. The voices, they speak to you. Well, I look for a man. Not just any man, a very special man. A man legally obligated to help me clean house. <laughs> I have not seen him for six months. He is a low wife. He is a man that will let you down. I cannot stand him. He is my snuggle pickle pants McVanovich. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. I heard that name. I knew that before you That's said That's the man about gay, big, wears green. That man, I am going to kill him when I see him. I, he left me at home with 10 children and 20 cows and 50 horses and 100 pigs. That's a lot of poop. That's a lot of poop. That's a lot the of babies, poop. they got the poop. And the chicken, there's a lot of poop. That's a lot and the horses, that's a lot of poop. And the cows, that's a lot of poop. And the pigs, they got a lot of poop. I got a lot of poop. I know, I, I know. I, got I, I have problems with poop. I need man to help me with the poop. He's got to come back home and do the poop. It's very important. I got poop issues. Wait, wait, okay, okay. You describe him for me again. And then, um, I, what he, he's so, so big. So big with so the green big. sort of dress and... Uh, not in a dress, he dresses in green. I've seen him. You he's, know him. He, I, he changed his name for some changed. reason. I don't know why. He, he doesn't like Snuggly Fiddlepins of Anovich? No, it's not <laughs> Snuggly His name is Brigella. Brigella. And he is here. He's, he's here. He's, he's in town. He's I will find him. I will take him home and he will deal with the poop. You shall the find poop him. will happen. I will find him. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, all right, so, so far, so good. I make one prophecy, I get paid. I feel, I feel like I need another, another pick. Oh, hey. Hi. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. I'm hungry. Good. How'd that first prophecy go? It's a good one. It went pretty good. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Ooh, boy, I have another prophecy. Wait, do you have no. money, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I have another prophecy for you. 
Oh, these spirits, they speak to me, and they say the name Horatio. No, Horatio. I know. You know Horatio? Yes. You know Horatio? I have a story. Yes. Okay, Horatio. You ready? You listen, yes. then you pay. Okay. Horatio will someday soon be covered in money. Money? Money. <coughs> You hear me? What I say? Uh, money. Money. That's money. right. He covered in money. That's a good prophecy. That is a good. Yeah, prophecy. you pay me now. Um. <laughs> right there. You pay me. Good prophecy. There you there go. You. All right. That work out for you. Remember. Money. 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 Oh, this problem with the war is so much trouble. This problem with war. War. Hi. How did that work? Oh, Arlecchino. Hi, Dottore. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still trying to work out this problem for the king of how to, to make the future work out. With the prophecy? <coughs> yeah, the prophecy. I heard another prophecy. You heard another prophecy? Yes. Oh, well, what an interesting thing. So many prophecies today. Um, um, well, you know, prophecies are, are good for prophecies. What, 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 what did you hear? Um, that somebody named Arlecchino, one of my friends. Arlecchino? Is going to become Arlecchino? Oh, so it's Horatio. Oh, Horatio. Horatio. Oh, my son. Yeah, oh. your son. Yes, what about him? Oh, he's going to be covered in money. Oh, no, 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 no. That's that that I, can't be right. That's that what I right. heard. No, no, no. Not my son. I know my son. He's a, he's a spectre. Uh, no, I, uh, no, no, no. I, oh, you know what? I think I have the answer because I was working on this when I was thinking for the king. Oh, another player. And I was looking at some ancient texts. Yes, and in the Bellerophon of Cicero, I found a passage which related how at one time the Amazon women used to use honey, golden honey, for that. commerce. As their, their... Was it a kind of money? Yes, yes, oh, honey, honey, honey. Mm. Yes, mm. honey, like gold, golden honey. Mm. Golden honey. Mm, I love honey. You love honey? Yes. Oh. Mm, I love ah, honey. yes. Honey, honey is a wonderful thing. I love honey. Oh, oh, oh there you are. No, oh, right. baloney. Yes, yes. I, I'm meaning to tell you that uh, your da your son will never marry my daughter. What? In what? 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 I found what? a better one. I found a better husband for, for what? what? My I son, your daughter. Yes. What are you talking about? Yes. yes. Uh, the marriage is off. Stop, 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 stop. stop. No, tell me what you're talking about. What are you doing? Oh, wow. Look at that gorgeous dress. I think I saw it at the merchants last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Arancio? What are you doing in a dress? It's, it's kind of a long story. I'm the one that looks good in a dress. Yeah, yeah, you are. Not you. No, I agree. We're supposed to be getting married. We can't both be wearing dresses. Oh, I never even thought of that. That's really confusing. This is confusing. It's well, about what is going on. Well, well, I can explain it. Uh, Ar Arlecchino, come here. Okay, so, so, uh, it's a long story. So, I need to win the approval of your father. So, I was told to join the army to make lots of money. But then I found out that if I join the army, I'm definitely going to die. But I already did join the army, so then I have to hide in disguise until they leave, so that way they won't drag me off to war. A war? Or I would die, yes. I that heard the bad. next war is Ar 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 wars. Ar Ar explain the you'll, prophecy. You'll never come back. No, no, wait, no, wait, no. explain the prophecy. I heard a second prophecy. Oh, wait, a new prophecy? A new prophecy. Mm -hmm. Yes, this prophecy, this prophecy was that you're going to be covered in honey. Honey? Honey. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you sure? That's what I heard. Well, that's better than Ah, honey. there you are. Yes, I have an announcement to make. Yes, yes. I found a husband for you. He's right here. Right here. This is the captain of the God, king's guard, and he is going to be your husband. Yes, yes. And, and get your girlfriend out of there. Oh. Oh. Hi. How's it going? Hey, yeah. Yeah, it's 
I think it's time for you to go see you. Araxio is not going anywhere! No! No, I can't! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! This is my true love! Stop! Stop! Get him out of there! 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 Get him out Spirits, they come at the strangest times, almost like it's a rage. But anyway, yeah, I have the prophecy. The prophecy is that this man, this man will someday soon be covered in money. Money? Money. Money? Oh, oh, well, uh, that changes everything. Okay. You are out. Yep, yep, yep. You can be, get married. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Oh, oh, I'm going on here. Say, say, Come on. Oh, get it on. Oh, 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 get it on. About the dowry. Yes, yes, we dowry. Are. Yes, dowry. yes, you no, must. No, 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 Ha, ha, ha.